This is Next Exhale, and I'm out here at a park close to my neighborhood. There's some trails out here, and I'm just trying to put into practice some of the things that I had learned about tracking last weekend at the Tracking Scout Intensive put on by Nature Reliance School. Just out here looking for some sign. First thing I noticed as I came out on the trail here was some vegetation that looked like it had been kind of crushed down. Indicating that somebody has, or something, has stepped on it. It's really pretty out here. I'm going to see what else I can find. Right down through here As I'm looking down at the vegetation I can see what appears to be a change in the density of the vegetation. It may not come across on video, but it looks like footsteps where the vegetation has been crushed down in certain places that lead off in that direction. And right here at the end of the trail, or the edge of the trail I should say, it's very clear that this has been trampled on. You can see the leaf being bent down and the dirt on top of the leaf where somebody stepped on it. If I just follow in these less dense parts here, again right here, you can see the leaves have been crushed down. If you can see that, I'm looking at this one right here. That's yeah, pretty obvious. And then right there looks like another footstep. Oh yeah. Follow this a little bit, see where it leads. Well, sure enough, I followed those footsteps through here. That's the trail. You can see, just barely see the little bridge I was on there. I followed these footsteps down through here, and it re led to another side trail. To this tree. This tree has got some awesome fungus growing on it. still out by this tree and there's some pretty obvious sign here crushed down vegetation right here right there I head down in that direction. See what I can see.
getting a close-up look at some of this fungus growing on this tree. It's like the fungus on the other tree. There's some sparkly little pieces of sap, I think. That's what that is. But they just kind of sparkle in the sunlight when it hits them. And you can see it there. If the camera will focus. There you go. Yeah, it's really cool. Here's one growing on the side of this tree. That big tree and big thick tree in the middle, that's where we just were looking at the fungus. I'm probably about 15 feet from it. And right down here is what appears to be that same fungus. Feels like wood. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's odd that it's right here. Probably could take that as sign that somebody has broken this off a tree and just tossed it over here or dropped it after they looked at it. Because we are probably 12 feet from the 10, 12 feet from the closest tree, which would be that one right there. And I don't see any sign of it having a chunk missing out of it. And it could have come from those trees. Those trees are even farther. But that's probably sign right there. Right through here is a damp area where the ground is still a little bit muddy. It makes a track trap. Something we learned about in class. Here we can see some obvious sign. Now there's a cigarette, but I'm talking about this. Tire tracks. Looks like from a bicycle probably. I can use my string light stylus to uh, show more detail by causing shadows in the tracks. It's also something that the instructor Craig Cottle taught us at the tracking class. can see two sets of tracks there, probably the front tire and the rear tire, I'd say. And we'll head up that way and see what else we can find. One of the things you look for when you're looking for sign we learned was color. And here's an obvious something that's standing out. I don't know what it is. Looks like some red tape or something. A piece of plastic's been here for a long time. It really jumped out at me just sitting here off the trail. I just 
just had some people pass me on the trail going the other way I kind of went up on this side trail and was real quiet I don't think they ever saw me or noticed that I was here they just kept on talking and kept on walking and I saw them plainly Now here's something pretty obvious that really jumps out. You look at this old dead log laying here beside the trail. Look at that color change. Something has pulled off chunks of wood and you can see the chunks laying around here in the leaf litter. Somebody or something has done this. And there's some more of that orange tape over there to the side of the trail. Probably somebody was using that as marker tape. As I'm walking along, I'm just trying to walk as quietly as possible not disturb the birds or the animals here's what looks like maybe some birch bark it's laying here laying right here but I do not see the tree that it may have come from anywhere close to here. So that could indicate sign right there. Somebody has put that there. It could have come off this tree maybe. But how did it get down there? That's the question. It's out of place. I can hear water very close by. I see some water through the trees, just the reflection of it. I'm headed in that direction. As long as I stay on this trail here, I can really be pretty quiet. Just walking slowly. Even in my big boots. To really walk quietly, we were taught that you need to map out your steps ahead of time. So that you see the places where you can walk. That you won't cause a disturbance, an audio disturbance. I can hear that water pretty strong. I can kind of see it through the trees. I'm going to try to get down there and take, take a closer look. I found this little side trail. is heading down towards the water and I almost walked right on top of this. There's a disturbance right there. Something has made that. I don't know if it was a person or an animal digging. Maybe a person with a stick. I don't know. Nearly walked right on top of it. But that's an obvious disturbance. Indicating sign. And down here, I can see the water through the trees. 
I'm going to go down and take a closer look. Still trying to walk quietly. I'm kind of using the fox step method that we learned. But I have to kind of also walk sideways because of the incline of this hill. Oh yeah, here's the water now. The helicopter overhead. Hmm. I didn't even know this was down here. see some people walking on the other side of the stream there. They got their dog with them. Ah, there's actually a bridge over there. I'm going to see if I can find that. I'm down here a little farther, close to the bridge. There's a large track trap down here. There's tons of tracks. There's bicycle tracks. There's animal tracks. I see a track down here of somebody's Nike. The Nike symbol in it. There's just tons of tracks down here. Head up to the bridge. Yeah, this is cool. I didn't know this was here. See if I can walk quietly across this bridge. It's not easy when you weigh 270 pounds. I can hear somebody coming. I just rode by on a bike. I'm on the other side of the bridge. I'm going to go down here to the water. See if I can cross over. Here's some disturbance right here. Don't know what it is. Somebody left their bottle of water and their Rolex hat here. Oh well. Maybe they'll be back for it.
well guys I've come up out of the little trail system there back into the park and that was um, a lot of fun looking down there looking for sign and trying to put into practice some of the things we learned at the tracking class I'll come back here some more and definitely use this as a place to practice and develop my skills a little more and uh, thanks for joining me on this little little tracking adventure